How you doing? This is Ivan with Bite Size Wisdom for Busy People, and I'm back with another quote of the day to have a great day. Today's quote is by Linus Pauling. The quote is, the best way to have a good idea is to have lots of ideas. So today our topic is on generating new ideas. First, let's start off by talking about thinking. Most people come up with new ideas simply by combining, recombining, and modifying existing ideas. Here, we are mainly using the purely associative and mechanical part of our brain. This form of thinking is the most superficial and mechanical, and for many people, this is all they know. It's fast, efficient, but very limited, but we like it because it requires little effort. So we can use this associative aspect of our thinking to generate many ideas. So hopefully, out of quantity, we arrive at some quality. Now I want to talk about bringing more original and new ideas into the world. Here we want to quiet and go beyond the purely associative part of our thinking. We want to simply contact our inner stillness and just be open to anything that emerges. If you really learn to be inwardly still and go deeply into it, you will be in a position where an unknown dimension can then come into being. You can call it an epiphany, intuition, divine inspiration, whatever you like. The important thing is that it's not coming from our associations, but from the deepest part of our being, of our consciousness, which is outside of time. So by being outside of time, it is not coming from memory. Now I want to talk about pondering. Pondering is a lost art in our fast-paced world. Pondering is to deeply consider an idea. Here, we are bringing an idea into the deep stillness of our inner being, taking it past our associative part of our mind to deeply contemplate it. Bringing an idea into the stillness, we let it marinate so that we can consider it from all angles and arrive at its essence. We then may make new connections and derive a totally new meaning. So if you want to have a surplus of good, high quality ideas, make sure you learn to ponder continuously. Also, when you ponder something deeply, whatever meaning you extract becomes your own real understanding as it makes a deep impression to all the layers and levels to your being. With associative mechanical thinking, we just stay on the surface and it's not our own real understanding. All right, guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed today's topic. If you did, please help me out hit the like button, subscribe, and don't keep me a secret. Share with anyone who may find my content valuable. I really appreciate you helping me build up my little YouTube channel. And until next time, wherever you are in the world, I hope you're doing well. Take care. Peace.